Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. A very warm welcome to all of you for the orientation session of Advanced Financial Management. I am Hussain Kasi, facilitator for the subject Advanced Financial Management, Strategic Business Reporting and Financial Management. You can consider this session as a demonstration lecture <clears throat> of AFM by Hussain Kazi. The duration of the session is approximately one hour. Based on my 18 years of teaching experience, I can assure you at the end of the session, you will get the right direction for the AFM exam preparation. And based on this direction, you will get the exam success of your upcoming AFM exam. But the condition is that you have to watch 100% of this video till the end with full of concentration. So the first thing I wanted to share with you, you all know that AFM is actually the A ACCA strategic professional optional exam. And the passing rate is one of the motivation factor for you people. Motivation factor. You know that the last five semester result is average 43% passing rate. This is the highest motivation factor. And as compared to other optional exam, AFM having the highest percentage, highest percentage, 43% is a very highest percentage. Now, what you should do, you should make a right strategy and be positive with full of encouragement that yes, I have to prepare my AFM exam to become part of this 43%. To become part of this 43%. That's the motivation required here. So we are we have started the session with full of motivation. Now, my session having these agenda points. Number one, we will cover the point, what is the right approach to study finance? Number one. Number two, AFM syllabus insights. Number three, what's the AFM exam structure? Number three, AFM practice question. We will cover here a practice question with smart exam techniques with point for the reason of point number four this is the reason i said earlier this is also a demo lecture number five afm study approach what should be the right study approach number six how the course will execute with hussein kazi number seven students most frequently ask questions and their answers so number one, the first point, everybody knows that ACCA is all about business studies. And you have studied, you have learned different subjects, like you studied taxation, you studied law, you studied accounting, costing, strategy. And you have already studied the subject financial management. Financial management. So actually, What's the mindset you have with respect to this subject about the financial management? The mindset you people have already have. Number one, for the sake of business, for the sake of business with financial management, we learned that identify the investment. And then after, identif after identification of the investment opportunity, evaluate the investment for example calculate the npv if you consider that investment is lucrative then arrange the right finance either debt either equity or the combination and once the project becomes started now it's time to develop a policy of returns that is called dividend and that is all we do as financial manager our role as financial manager 
where our responsibility with respect to financial management is to maximize the wealth of shareholder. So whoever, <clears throat> if you are watching that particular video, so you have a mindset of this. Yes, we are starting the subject with the mindset as financial manager, where responsibility to maximize the wealth of shareholder and to maximize the wealth of shareholder identify investment evaluate investment connect the right finance and develop the policies of dividend with same continuation students with same continuations now with advanced financial management with same continuation but the picture become broader the picture become broader with this subject with this subject we will also cover the multinational corporations, investments or finance or dividend policy for multinational corporations. We will cover investment with foreign investment opportunities, international investment opportunities. We will also cover international financing possibility, financing arrangement with international forums. And of course, our role now become upgraded it's so called we have promoted from finance manager to senior financial manager so with same structure but with the broader picture welcome to advanced financial management once again a very warm welcome for advanced financial management and we have to develop a core strategy, a constructive strategy with this session. And based on this strategy, you will be able to get success of the exam. So be positive. Students, with respect to the financial management, whenever you study the financial management, one thing you should be very much clear. Our role here with AFM as senior finance manager, and we have to develop our mindset we have to think in a manner like entrepreneur not an accountant accountant or financial accounting or sbr or fr subject it's all about making of financial statement it's about past it's about prepare reports but here financial management advanced financial management we will use the data of accounting but our responsibility our responsibility is about decision making it's about future it's about planning like an entrepreneur so we have to think in a manner like an entrepreneur like bill gates like alan musk so you have to motivate yourself so that's the point subject is all about subject is all about planning decision making it's not about reporting so once again be positive once again welcome to advanced financial management you need to think as an entrepreneur now it's time for syllabus insights but before entering to syllabus insights mr hussein Kazi, a brief profile 18 years of facilitation experience for acc qualification Specialized with SBR, AFM, and FM. Senior faculty member at the Panis School of Accountancy, which is a Platinum Status College of Pakistan. Platinum Status means having a result always greater than global and average rate. And also a founding member and business partner, business partner academics of a learning platform, HusseinKazi.com. Throughout the 18 years journey, Multiple students, more than 100 students, got prize winners through my facilitation. ACCA invited me multiple times in Pakistan, as well as internationally, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, for exam focus session for students and for tutors as well. By the way, I am also a registered CPD trainer of ACC as well, for ACC members as well. Corporate world exposure. 2000 from 2005 to 10 i was associated with kpnt and after that 
me and my partner founded a company called HRS Network. Till now, I'm serving as a director of business development with HRS Network, a professional accountancy firm. You, if you wanted to know more about me, you can search www.hussainkazi.com. So what I was saying, that's about the syllabus. Syllabus, AFM syllabus, it's not extensive. Five areas. Number one, role of senior financial advisor. Number two, advanced investment appraisal. Number three, acquisition merger. Number four, reconstruction and reorganization. Number five, tragedy risk and risk management. That's all. Five areas of syllabus. But it's technical. We need to learn the knowledge and we need to learn the smart techniques as well. Now, one by one, section A, senior finance manager's role, senior finance manager roles. So senior finance manager role for as a local company advisor or finance manager, senior finance manager or for multinational as well. This part of syllabus is about formulating and monitoring of investment opportunities, financing policies and dividend policies. This area of syllabus is about local companies, multinational companies, exam scope 12 to 20 marks, 100% theory. It's about the formulating and monitoring policies, 100% theory. If you have a question in your mind, sir, how much part of syllabus in AFM theory, how much calculation, we will discuss this point later. But at this point, I must say one point. AFM exam, AFM exam of questions of 50 marks, question number one, question two, 20, sorry, section B, 25 marks, two questions. Examiner will never exam any single question of 100% theory. An examiner will never exam the question with 100% calculation. It's a mixture of calculation and theory. But this point, the weightage of theory calculation, I will cover later. So number one, section A, 100% theory. Section B, investment appraisal, advanced level. Advanced investment appraisal method. You studied earlier with F9, NPV, basic NPV. Here advancement, for example, for an investment appraisal. You required a very strong foundation of F9. So a strong foundation means, do we need to revise F9? Don't worry, my course includes the revision as well. I will provide you the lectures and also the assignment. You will be able to get the revision. Don't get any other books of revision for F9 or any other books. This subject, mostly calculation, but we cannot ignore theory. Even F9, examiner with section C, CRQs, never examined the NPV only with calculation. It's a mixture of calculation and theory. Same case here, same case. Exam scope 25 to 35. Sir, is this compulsory? Not necessary. Section C. Section C. Section C is about acquisition and mergers. Previously, previously you studied a subject uh, F9 and a topic business valuation. The continuation of the topic of business valuation. The topic acquisition merger. Every business needs growth. Every business wants or needs growth. For example, you are a bank with 300 branches. You wanted to grow. There are two possibilities. One is organic way. Organic means your board has decided to grow organically. Uh, for example, adding 20 more branches. After two years, 40 more branches. After three years, 50 more branches. This is organic growth. But other way of the growth is about you are a bank having 300 branches and you wanted to grow. So your board has decided to acquire another small bank of 120 branches. So this is about inorganic way. So acquisition and merger is about inorganic way of acquisition. 
or inorganic way of growth. So what are what ins and outs? What plus and minus we will cover here. So this is the topic with the continuation of business valuation knowledge required from FM. Sir, do we need to review? No worries. I will provide you the material. Sir, this is the topic about mixture of calculation and theory. Exam scope 2535. So this is acquisition merger. Another point, section D. There are two topics. Corporate reconstruction, business reorganization. First, business reorganization. <clears throat> business may decide to change ahead. What does that mean? For example, you have a business of with a portfolio of different divisions. There are a group of business. Since last 25 years, you have been engaged with a portfolio having three different industries. Bank, cement and airline. So your group having three portfolios, bank, cement and airline. But after 2019 means after pandemic, your airline business facing continuous losses. And to the, after 2019, 20, 21, 22, finally 2023, you have decided to withdraw with the airline business because we are actually getting too much losses and not emphasizing other part of the business as well. So your board has decided to sell off the airline business, get the money and acquire one more company of cement. Acquire one more company of cement. So this is called change ahead. Sell one division, acquisition other part of the business. So this is one of the example. <laughs> Examples may change as well. So business reorganization would sell the mergers, MBO management buyout means sell the business to the existing management like this. Mixture of calculation and theory and exam scope 25 to 35 marks. Section D involves one more topic that is called financial reconstruction or corporate reconstruction. Assuming there is a situation that the company has become out of cash and the even retained earnings or reserves are negative. So company is about to liquidate, about to liquidate. But I am a company, I am a company's management. I have a strong belief that although the company is in a position of ventilator, it's about to liquidate. But someone inject the blood, someone inject the cash flow like existing shareholder or debt holder or external venture capitals or business angels inject the money. We are confident to reconstruct the business. So as a management, I have reconstruction plan. So you as financial advisor need to evaluate the situation and make a report that either <clears throat> liquidation or reconstruction which out of two which one is beneficial for the stakeholder existing shareholders or existing debt holder or existing stakeholder which one is the benefit either to liquidate the business or to reconstruct the plan so this is what the question of financial or corporate reconstruction. This is section D. Very interesting. Mixture of calculation theory. Exam scope 25 to 35 marks. So these three topics. Acquisition merger, business reorganization, financial reconstruction. Examiner examine any one topic with this area. With section B and C. Any one topic with this area one of the topic is advanced investment appraisal and another one is something about treasury and risk management but do remember afm this is 
what the past paper analysis nothing is structured in this paper nothing in structure anything examined with any part of the paper okay section e treasury and risk management number one treasury function includes forex risk management interest rate risk management students a little bit you have studied with f9 forex risk management interest rate risk management here some advancement required whatever you studied with f9 it's very limited here very extension it's it's a very technical calculation but believe me once you learn that this technical calculation it's will it will become very easy part of the syllabus that will become very easy part of the syllabus don't worry we cannot ignore theory and examiner is exam scope 25 to 35 marks so this is what about the section a b c d e that the syllabus areas that is about the syllabus areas that is about the syllabus areas that afm students afm students now it's time now it's time to learn about afm smart exam techniques afm smart exam techniques students hard working it's very important i know that if you wanted to get knowledge of the syllabus area you need hard working for example watching the videos taking the classes reading material that's very important that's hard working practicing the question that's hard working all these are reading the material that's hard working reading the notes all these things but hard working it's not only enough for the success of exam we also need smart exam techniques we also need to learn smart exam techniques because we need to consider here priorities of the task which one is more important which one is less important we need to learn about the time management how to manage the time we need to learn about marks management so smart techniques or a smart exam techniques includes priorities of the task time management techniques and marks management techniques so not only the hard working but smart working also very important so we need to learn what about or how we will implement the smart exam technique during the preparation of afm exam or revision of AFM exam afm exam so that will impact on our exams and we will easily get success of afm exam so let's start number one the first thing is that the very first thing and i wanted to recall this afm passing rate it's average 43 percent remember that point average 43 percent this is the highest motivation factor and you need the commitment yes i can do that so have to develop a strategy to become under 43 percent that's the motivation courage and obsession required so first thing about the smart work or smart technique first of all we have to consider what is exactly afm exam structure students very important discussion now we have entered with a very important discussion full of concentration required here afm exam format section a one question 50 marks section b two question each question 25 marks Number two, total 100 marks of AFM allocated in this manner. Total 100 marks. Total 100 marks split in two components. 
80 technical marks, 20 professional marks. And with section A, 50 marks question, 40 technical marks and 10 professional marks. Section B, 25 marks of two questions. Each question having 20 marks and five professional marks. So before entering in detail, in detail about smart exam technique, we must have to aware what is the structure of the exam, especially with respect to technical, allocation of technical and professional marks. Next move, how this 20 professional skill marks allocates, that's important. Professional skill marks includes four components. Number one, professional skill marks includes communication. Number two, analysis and evaluation. Number three, skepticism. Number four, commercial acumen. These four things, what are these things? A little bit discussion I will do later on. Don't worry. But try to understand these four professional marks, how to allocate with the paper. All four, all four professional skill marks will examine with section A 50 marks question. Means 10 professional marks of question one includes all four professional skill marks. But with section B 25 marks question, examiner will only examine with the scope of these three professional skill marks, analysis and evaluation, skepticism, commercial acumen, but not communication. The reason is that communication is actually about report writing and report writing only examined with first question, first 50 marks question. Now the point is that, sir, these 20 professional skill marks, it's about what? A little bit discussion here, a little bit discussion. Communication is about report writing and professional skill marks of communication affect to theory and calculation both. Analysis and evaluation affect to both calculation and theory. Skepticism and commercial acumen only affect theory. Once again, sir, what are these? I will tell you, don't worry, with an example. First of all, the structure. Students, another point. Left side, it's about technical 80 marks. Right side, 20 professional skill marks. Do remember that with AFM exam, we have to attempt 80 marks. And 20 professional skill marks actually actually indulge with technical marks. So what does that mean? For example, for example, let's say about calculation. If you are doing calculation with a spreadsheet, calculation with a spreadsheet of technical marks, doing technical marks, calculating NPV. So calculating of NPV using, for example, con calculating contribution, then tax calculation, then for example, working capital calculation, calculation of VAC. This is what all about technical marks. But using of spreadsheet functions, for example, the function of sum. Labeling of working means a structured working. So spreadsheet functions, labeling of working is the about professional skill marks. So once again, whenever you are attempting technical marks and simultaneously you are using the spreadsheet functions or labeling of working. So automatically professional skill marks indulge with technical marks, indulge with technical marks. Same case with theory, whenever you're drafting any answer, for example, if you are preparing a report or making a report, 
सो इफ यू मेकिंग अ रिपोर्ट एंड फॉलो द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ रिपोर्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंट्रोडक्शन हेडिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंक्लूजन हेडिंग ऑफ कंक्लूजन फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर्मैट ऑफ द रिपोर्ट राइटिंग सो ऑटोमैटिकली यू आर गेटिंग टेक्निकल एंड प्रोफेशनल मार्क्स सो डू रिमेंबर दैट ट्वेंटी प्रोफेशनल स्किल मार्क्स इट्स नॉट अबाउट समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा यू नीड टू डू नो वट एवर यू आर अटेम्प्टिंग द टेक्निकल मार्क्स सो सैमल्टेनियसली यू नीड टू वर्क आउट इन अ प्रोफेशनल मैनर वट आई से इन अ प्रोफेशनल मैनर अटेम्प्टिंग योर टेक्निकल आंसर विद प्रोफेशनल मैनर ऑटोमेटिकली एड योर ट्वेंटी मार्क्स so normally what a student do a student do practice of professional skill marks just 7 days before the exam but i strongly suggest to you that from the day one you have to practice with professional skill marks save your time save your energy energy and secure your exam that's a point moreover moreover with <clears throat> i will also uh, discuss the point with more diagnosis here what does that mean sir about professional marks afm marks insights let's diagnose one exam question march june 2023 afm exam student your concentration required here for example this is a 50 marks question this is a 40 50 box question okay and this is afm march june 23 50 marks question 50 marks and this highlighted this highlighted is about 40 technical marks and this is actually the exhibit of complete requirement era this is 40 marks technical including report writing and at the last of the stream that is 10 10 marks this 10 marks is about professional marks professional marks of communication analysis evaluation skepticism commercial acumen 10 marks professional do remember watch the screen carefully this 10 professional marks is actually about this complete 40 marks for example the communication is about report writing so once again professional skill marks is not something extra this professional skill marks is the part of technical marks so if you are attempting the 40 technical marks technique simultaneously simultaneously you will also get professional skill marks if you aware about that if you don't aware about professional skill marks you just prepare your answer without professional skill marks and you will lose the exam that's a point same case for 25 marks question here march june 23 25 marks question this is 20 20 marks question 5 10 5 20, 20 marks question and this is professional marks analysis evaluation skepticism commercial acumen five marks so where this professional marks will apply definitely these five professional marks will apply with this core technical marks this five professional marks will affect to this core technical marks so that is about the insights of afm exam paper now it's a time for afm exercise with hussain kazi afm exercise with hussain kazi let's take an example come on let's take an example <clears throat> here i have uh, taken a limited extract of afm exam question a limited extract of the question question is about investment appraisal 
investment now for twenty thousand dollars project life for four years other information like inflation rates growth rate tax rate is part of main question i have not attached here a limited exercise but inflation growth rate tax rate affects on the question finance director is confident about the financial viability of project assuming there is a debate between finance director and marketing director marketing director is saying that project is not viable financial viable but finance director is confident that project is viable okay so this is also the information and finance director intend intention to arrange the finance to support investment through equity finance like share offer to public for example this is a private company share offer to the public listing or institutional investors placement media news also the information about media news about political instability and implications with the depression in stock market finance director has intention to equity finance by ipo but media news about depression in stock market so it's contradiction no? requirement two requirement calculate npv and conclude whether the project should be accepted or not so first thing the calculation we will consider the calculation including technical and professional marks come on this is the solution now please carefully observe the solution this is npv main table for example if you are start working with npv let's suppose the contribution so contribution you have taken the values sorry for contrib for contribution you mentioned that working number one and very precisely very clearly you mentioned that this portion is working and working number one is labeled with contribution so if you label the working this is professionalism then you take the figures from the question for example sales price figure with inflation with growth rates all these things variable cost cost units all these things then you use the sum function with the contribution the sum function this is professionalism this is the professional skill box then move on after contribution then incorporating fixed cost then marketing then tax once again tax working to here you headed the working to proper labeled working and then you have concluded with the net cash flow this is the net cash flow and after net cash flow you know that vac is 11 percent and you are going to calculate npv so i'm going to calculate npv with shortcut function for example is equal to npv bracket open 11 percent 0.11 comma select air one two three four plus investment plus minus minus four one six nine two once again is equal to npv 0 0.11 comma bracket close plus investment so i have used this function this npv function i have no calculation for i have not taken the value of discount rate i have not uh, making the working of present value that I calculate the NPV. It's acceptable and it's this is the expectation of the examiner. So whenever we are calculating the function, three things three things are important. Sorry, whenever we are working of the calculation, so marks are allocated in two ways. Number one, technical marks. Number two, professional marks. 
and professional marks include three components working structure working structure means this is the main table and right side is the working this is the structure number two working should be labeled as refer above labeled means properly allocated working working one working two working three so easily traceable and number three is spreadsheet functions so all these things of calculation if we do the calculation in this way we not just able to get technical marks but simultaneously also able to get professional skill marks that is the point so for calculation professional skill marks working structure working should be labeled and shortcut spreadsheet functions spreadsheet shortcut functions this is about calculation we also cover the point of theory here but before covering the theoretical aspect i wanted to make a small analysis here or i wanted to develop your mindset here listen carefully this is very very important very important your afm answer number one first thing is about time how to manage time because we are discussing here smart working smart it's not only about hard and do practice do prepare your studies with smart practice time management you have total time of 180 minutes everybody knows 60 minutes into three hours the marks you need to attempt now it's very clear it's 80 technical and 20 professional but actually you have to attempt 80 marks because professional marks is a part of technical marks right okay so that means effectively you have to attempt 80 marks you have to attempt 80 marks so that means 180 minutes divided by 180 minutes divided by 80 marks that means you have 2.2 minutes for each mark so here the formula becomes change normally 180 minutes divided by 100 1.8 minutes for each mark but here 2.25 minutes for each mark but be careful whenever you are attempting your either calculation and theory you have to practice with technical simultaneously professional marks that's a smart working then believe me if you attempt the smart working of calculation you will save the time what normally students do during preparation all the semester do the practice without shortcut functions all the semester doing uh, theoretical practice without professional skill marks so actually investing unnecessary time investing wastage of energy now another point next point students smart this is a time of smart huh? everything is smart smartphone smart <laughs> everything has become smart smartphone smart home smart car so smart studies as well now marks management another point listen carefully technical marks number one whenever you are attempting any theory topic first of all you have to identify the technical marks what key points i wanted to write then with the technical skill marks of theory you need to incorporate professional skill marks as well so identify the professional skill marks for example there are four possible professional skill marks for question one four and other than question one three so that means this professional marks once again this professional marks is a part of this technical marks okay and it's very clear so your afm answer for theory now it's time for theory for example if you are thinking some technical point 
one number one two three four five so one two three four five technical marks and incorporating the professional skill marks in simple words afm paper is about baking of cake baking of cake is technical uh, technical marks and icing on cake is professional marks so the complete package is making or presenting the cake in front of examiner so baking is technical icing on cake is professional you have to combine together and present in front of examiner so let's take let's apply with the theory with the same question exam technique last point the question we are discussing here same question auto company with respect to theory some points are important look at the screen number one project life four years number two whatever the npv we have calculated having inflation rates growth rate and tax rate all estimates finance director is confident about financial viability of the project director's intention finance director intention to arrange finance through equity finance by offering to public or institutional investor but media news having political instability and implications with depression in the stock market now it's time for theory how to draft theory with professional marks sir do tell us so we will start preparation accordingly one by one professional skill marks include analysis and evaluation a quick overview because the detail one i will cover with the uh, syllabus areas uh, with my course a quick overview analysis and evaluation analysis and evaluation examiner expect number one from the question and from your excel answer whatever the answer you conclude use the data and determine the suitable decision use your data from question and use your data from the calculation and determine the suitable de decision this is about analysis point one number two evaluate information to recommend action means whatever the data you have extracted from the question and from the excel sheet for example the npv you need to conclude your answer based on the information and identify the relevant factor within the case means application with this with the case if these things we are going to apply with our case number one our answer number one for example if we write that npv of the project is positive so that means this part is this part has covered if we are start writing npv project npv of the project is positive 4170 so that means we have taken the data from the question or are working so the project should be accepted so based on this information we have recommended our action so these two points covered here then identify relevant factor and link with the case so here finance director option is correct in term of financial grounds in our question i say to you that finance director opinion is that finance uh, project is viable so here the relevant facts we have connected here the finance director opinion is correct in terms of financial grounds so that is about analysis evaluation if we answer question in this way so this part of psm professional skill marks has covered but this is not complete answer then professional skill marks to skepticism do remember we are actually studying afm advanced financial management and this is what about strategic level and whatever the strategic level discussion we make 
always consider some criticism as well because if someone critic that the critic should be valid if someone critic so that means your decision will be more informed and more valuable skepticism includes challenge or critic whatever the assumption or information that we have made here if something missing or something need to add with the with the particular scenario or analysis we have to recommend and we can critic the techniques we use for example npv techniques we can critic let's apply with the answer for example we are critiquing critiquing <coughs> sorry we are criticizing however further analysis may be needed particularly of the assumption which includes inflation growth and tax rates all these rate may have change in future and affect decision making this is the challenge or critic the assumptions and the realizable value of 45 million may also be questionable ignore the ignore figure the value of realizable value is also estimated on the other hand the four year time horizon seems low and analysis should be done of potential cash flows beyond that time that is called criticism further this is identify additional information with this case risk and uncertainty methods also need to consider like sensitivity analysis should be undertaken or expected value means probability analysis need to consider because in the country there are some political instability so need to incorporate the models of risk and uncertainty so this is what about critic or comment about additional informations like this this is called skepticism and last last commercial acumen examiner expects to incorporate commercial acumen commercial acumen means simple words whatever you are advising be practical identify if there are some whatever you are suggesting may be possible your suggest your suggestion or financial director suggestion contradict with the real world situations either internal or external so whatever the suggestion here be practical number one all recommendations that's be practical you need to identify any constraints internal not internal internal or external and highlight any other opportunities we will cover other opportunities later so let's apply here answer for this project the auto company not robson auto company requires 20000 finance and director are willing to arrange from equity finance through rights issue or through ipo but the news or the institutional investor but the newspaper announcement about stock market depression contradicts with financing strategy so whatever you are advising it's not practical sir this point may be the part of skepticism no worries we will cover later on but in reality commercial acumen means whatever you are advising be practical so students your smart answer for students smart answer for students this is the answer which include this is the theoretical answer which includes technical marks professional skill marks of analysis evaluation skepticism and commercial acumen same this calculation this calculation also includes also includes the professional skill mark the technical marks and professional skill marks student i strongly suggest that you have to prepare your studies in this manner from the day one get the knowledge of the syllabus 
and practice the exam question with this manner. So, so, so this is all about a smart exam technique you need to apply for the preparation and revision of your AFM exam. This is all over about smart techniques. Students, now I'm going to conclude my session with some more points. Number one, sir, what's the right study approach to pass the exam? What are the three important points? Just let us know three important points that we should obey and then pass our exam. Yes. Number one, study approach for the success required preparation. And for preparation, once again, once again, the commitment required. This is the third time I deliberately uh, planted these slides over there. Commitment, commitment, commitment. Number one, positive. Yes, we should be part of this 43%. Commitment required, commitment. For this, the action, action points or the action plan are these. Number one, be committed to cover 100% syllabus. Number two, balance approach. Number three, exam simulation. These three points, one by one. 100% knowledge means five areas of syllabus. Be sincere, be honest that you have to cover theory plus calculation. Both things you need to cover. Number one. Number two. So first thing is 100% knowledge. Number two. Balance approach. Very key point. So what is the meaning of balance approach? Balance approach means your AFM exam. It's about 60% theory and 40% calculation. This is, I'm not saying with my point of view. I'm going to prove this. Let's take one exam sample question. This is 25 marks question, huh? March 1, 23. And this is what about the technical marks question. Okay, one by one. This A part, discuss five marks. Discuss, huh? Discuss five marks. Out of 25 marks discussion, A part. C part, discuss the assumption. Again, five marks. Discuss five marks. Total 10 marks here, huh? out of 20, 10 marks. Then as I know that estimate using data available, equity value percentage gain. But what is this concluding? Out of 10, at least two marks about theory concluding. So five marks, five marks, two marks. Out of 20, 12 marks is about theory. This is reality. It's reality check. 60% theory, 40% calculation. Balance approach. If you are, for example, for example, uh, you have decided to invest 10 weeks for AFM preparation. For each week, you will invest 20 hours. 20 hours, huh? So total, you will invest 20 multiplied by 10, 200 hours. So for 200 hours, you should make a plan with a 60% theory, preparation and revision and practice 40% calculation. So allocate the time as per the reality check of the exam. What normally do the students? Student invest 90% time on calculation, just 10% time with the least interest, just reading, not even to draft any answer for calculation or for theory. 90% calculation, 10% theory. And then go to the examination hall. What will happen? Bounce back. You will bounce back. Because the examiner will examine for sure 60 to 62% theory, 38 to 40% calculation. So do prepare in this manner. Do prepare in this manner. That's a point. 100% knowledge. 
balance approach exam simulation what does that mean exam simulation exam simulation i never believe on the term practice i always believe on exam simulation hundred of times i suggest to my students to simulate the exam sir what is the difference between exam simulation and exam practice i am going to tell you if i am going to uh, for example one of the topic has covered and i have assigned you one 25 marks question of december 2020 of afm so what i will recommend to you number one first of all you have to attempt that 25 marks question in a manner that you are sitting in the examination hall number one for this 25 marks question you have to spare time 25 marks question multiply by 2.25 whatever for example there are 50 minutes to cover this exam question 50 minutes so number one avoid all distraction shut down the door switch off your mobile assuming you are sitting in the examination hall number one number two lock the timer for 25 marks question for example you have 50 minutes lock the timer number three open the cb format and start attempting question irrespectively irrespectively at the end of the time for example 50 minutes timer either you will be able to attempt 18 marks 21 marks 17 marks no worries but do simulate with this situation exam practice with exam conditions first thing after 50 minutes after the allocated time if for example you have attempted only 18 marks don't worry you will mark that you have to mark that i have completed 18 marks with the allocated time then take 10 to 15 more minutes and complete your question and then submit to me on my email if you are if you are a registered student this is the activity what i do with my students and alhamdulillah always the passing rate more than the global rate that is the point so this should be the strategy students mark my words no worries there is this is not about the business if you if you are not going to uh, register with my course no worries but mark my words if you do that activity for 12 to 14 questions you will feel the difference with your personality the confidence do the exam simulation and once you feel some confidence drop a message on whatsapp to me i will feel happy so this is about the exam simulation so three things number one hundred percent knowledge number two balance approach number three exam simulation and the success is waiting for you that's a point sir what are the afm exam practice questions what revision kit should we buy no revision kit i strongly suggest to all my students this is your revision kit what is this sir these are the past papers number one one to eleven past papers available plus acc published mock will also available so for example 12 12 past paper available with the cba format till now six past paper available with the pdf format so 12 plus 6 18 two more past paper i will share with you 20 past paper 20 multiply by three each past paper questions 60 questions that's more than enough focus on quality with exam simulation rather than quantity if some of the student just practicing the question without professional skill marks without exam condition without covering 100 percent syllabus useless not able to to become part of under 43 percent but after this direction if you obey my all points you obey my direction you will be part of this 43 percent inshallah may allah believe afm with hussein kazi two things 
how the course will execute number one the course executed with afm premium videos recorded recorded videos include concept building plus exam practice questions 100 percent course notes available i will also provide at least 20 to 25 suggested answers suggested answers what is the suggested answer sir the acca <clears throat> Model answers are very much confusing, and students are not able to understand what are in, what answer includes technical or professional skill marks. You can observe that, but for the convenience of students, I have made multiple suggested answers, almost all part of the syllabus, where a student learned the answer and able to identify how to write the answer, how to draft the answer, how to calculate the answer and get the technical and professional skill marks. That's the point. Weekly meeting every Saturday, 9 p.m. Assignments, feedbacks, regular basis, three mocks, one mid mock, two final mocks. Four, five, six will be the game changer for you. At the end of the day, the learning outcome will be AFM, syllabus knowledge 100%, practice questions, you will get, you will be able to get the practice questions, you will be able to get drafting techniques with professional skill marks, you will be able to get a smart exam techniques, how to catch easy marks. A trailer has made with this session, huh? we will cover a lot of things. You can observe with my YouTube channel, go my, um, <clears throat> just search my YouTube channel at the red Hussain YouTube at the slash at the red Hussain You will feel that you already observed that how much I emphasize with exam techniques and examiner report analysis. And you can ask your senior as well. The question is that why I should register with Hussain Kazi? Number one. The year 2023, Alhamdulillah, Muhammad Bilal and Kamal Kumar, September 23, March 23, AFM Pakistan prize winners belongs to my students. Both students got facilitation from my side. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Moreover, I have associated with the Platinum Status College. Alhamdulillah, my passing rate since a long, long time, always higher than the average global rate. Anything else you wanted to know about me, you can just search my website, hosainkazi.com. Your frequently asked questions. Number one, what is study text required for AFM preparation? No study text required. The notes are enough, but some chapters I will recommend for Kaplan, but we will discuss later. What revision kit required for AFM preparation? No revision kit required. Only the AFM pass paper from September 18 till now plus mock exams. What technical articles are important for AFM? AFM, very selected technical articles. I will guide you during courses. How to access lectures and tell when the lectures will be available. Lectures will be available through LMS and access will be available till your exam date. How to submit assignment or mocks and able to get feedbacks? You need to submit your assignments with the e email afm by Hussein Kazi at the red gmail.com. This facility only available for registered, registered students. And you will get the feedback by next three working days. How the live session will conduct and what are the timings? Live session conduct through the Zoom channel every Saturday, 9 p.m. Lock your calendars. What are the key variables to get success of AFM exam? Video lectures, notes, assignments, and mock submissions. Motivation, 43%, must be under 43%. How much proportion of AFM exam with theory and calculation? Approx 60 40. 60% theory. Invest your 60% time for theory, 40% for calculation. For preparing and for practicing both. Students, success variable for the subject required confidence,
clearing that obsession yes i have to do this positive mindset avoid negative well discipline make a plan and be committed my course of afm inshallah will support you for all these variables provide you the confidence and support you to develop your positive mindset if you are not become disciplined i will call you why you haven't attempted the assignment yes we do in this manner success rule power of belief these are not photoshops if these people can play the tennis or run the cycle you can easily pass your afm exam you can connect with us by the youtube channel youtube.com slash at the rate hussain kazi whatsapp plus two three two one eight two seven one seven eight four thank you very much for your time if you have any question you can ask me through the whatsapp take care a lot assalamu alaikum